In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate on click in Canva. Now, you cannot just animate on click. However, we can do a little trick here to actually get it to animate on click, if you will. And this is a technique that I used to use in PowerPoint as well, because sometimes it's just easier to separate animations from a single page. So what am I talking about? Here we have a couple pages here, or a couple slides of our presentation. Now, if I wanted to animate each of these problems in a click, right? So I want to click onto this slide and see one, and then click again to see problem two, click again to see problem three. That's animating on click. You can't do it on a single slide. But what we can do is take this slide design. Once you have the presentation completed and you want to add these animations at the end, and we can duplicate it. So we can come down here to our pages. Usually that's minimized so we can show pages down here. And I'm gonna duplicate page two. And so we're gonna click on the three dots and we can click duplicate page. That's also command or control D. So if I press that shortcut key, I'll duplicate it again. So now I have three, uh, three different slides here that are all duplicated. They're all the same. On this first slide, what I would do is delete out anything that I don't want to see on the first click. On the second slide, I would do the same thing. Delete out anything I don't want to see on the second click. And then the third slide, we would build to that third problem in this case. So now I go back to page one. And for this, I would want to make sure that this is all grouped. So I would select this entire piece with all the text and background and everything right click and make sure it's grouped. Right now it is, so I don't want to ungroup it, but right here would be group. So once I have that grouped, I can select that group and add an animation to it. So we come up here to animate and we can add whatever we want over here on the left hand side. I'm just going to add this little rise effect. Now we'll make sure that this is actually on the group and it should be. We'll go back to the original uh, title slide of our presentation and I'll go present and make sure that it's animating the way I want. So we'll hit present up here. And then if I just press the arrow key, it should come in. So it animated only the background piece, which I didn't want. So I'll go back and make sure I select that entire group to get it animated. So we'll remove this rise animation just by clicking on it and coming down here to remove animation. Sometimes you get the wrong thing selected and you just gotta go and make sure you get the right thing selected, if you will. So we're going to try to click on this group. I'm going to click and drag to see if I can't just select everything and make sure I don't accidentally just select the background. And we'll click rise. There we go. So we've got everything in the animation now. Uh, you just want to make sure you have everything selected so that all animates at once. Now, we don't want this to animate as it moves along through this. So what we want to do is just animate on enter instead of on enter and exit, which would be the both selection here. So we're just going to animate this on enter. Like when we enter into the slide, we want this piece to animate. Now you can adjust some other things like speed and direction with this specific animation. But all I need to do is make sure on enter is selected. Then I'll go to this second page. And I want to do the same thing for the second click of this slide. So we're going to highlight or select all of this group right here. I'm going to pick the same animation that will add some consistency make sure it's on enter and then go to this last one and we're going to add the last click animation of problem three over here rise on enter so now effectively we're moving through these three slides that build on a single slide if that makes sense so they build on a single concept so you just kind of break it out into however many clicks you want and then animate between each slide so we'll go back to the original title slide. I'll go up to present and we'll take a look at how this looks. So I hit present. I can either click or use my arrow keys or spacebar or anything to advance the slide. But if I advance it once, it's going to pull up problem one. Now when I click again, it pulls up problem two. Click again, problem three. So this is like a little hack to actually animate on click. Since Canva doesn't have that feature, and I'll be honest, I used to do this in PowerPoint too, especially when you get complex animations. Sometimes it's easier just to animate a single thing on a single slide and move on to the next slide instead of having a whole list of, you know, 15 different animations you have to keep track of on one slide. So that's how you do it. What I would do is duplicate the original design three times once you have it fully created. 
and then go back and add your animations. That'll keep it the most organized and structured for you. That's how you can animate on click here in Canva.